Russia has blocked a UN resolution to extend a probe into the use of chemical weapons in Syria. Moscow is waiting for a new joint report from UN investigators and a chemical weapons watchdog that's due out on Thursday. You can extend uh, the mandate of the gym a few days before the publication of the report on the 26th of October, even though there's no urgent need for it. The gym will be operating until the 17th of November, and no, nothing prevents uh, adopting a decision uh, uh, before that date. So why today? What is the haste? Doesn't, don't, don't you think it's strange? Okay, following proceedings for us in New York is RT's Caleb Maupin. Caleb, good to have you on the program. Uh, just bring us up to date with what we know about this so far. Well, the resolution would have extended the mandate of the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons to investigate the situation in Syria. Now, that mandate for their investigation was scheduled to expire on November 17th. Um, now, the Russian ambassador, he explained the move, and he basically said that Russia wants to look through the methods used by the OPCW, uh, which have sparked some concerns. And if the report of the OPCW gives irrefutable evidence, uh, then, then it will be extended. Uh, but they want to see the report first. Um, now, previous reports from the OPCW have raised some rather serious concerns. Um, in a previous report, uh, it was noted that the OPCW didn't actually visit the site of this attack in Khan Sheikh Khun. They didn't actually visit the site. They simply did their investigation with samples, and these samples were sent by third parties. Now, um, furthermore, um, the previous report didn't identify who was responsible for the attack. Um, however, Western leaders were quick to blame the Syrian government for it, um, and actually uh, there, there, was a, there was a response um, now, this is, this is the attack that took place in Khan Sheikhoun. There were 74 people killed and over 500 people injured. Uh, there were, the OPCW has determined that it was sarin nerve gas that was used in the attack. Now, the Russian ambassador uh, also pointed out uh, that the United States and, and Washington seem to be fueling media hysteria in the lead up to the voting at the UN Security Council. This is what he had to say. A few days before uh, uh, publication of the report uh, uh, of the gym, uh, a resolution is, hurt, is rushed to extend it uh, by a year. Before that, a powerful campaign in the media is launched. Uh, Ambassador Haley gave an interview in which he uh, clearly uh, accused Russia of trying to undermine and torpedo the work of the gym. She sends a letter to, let, uh, to the members of the Security Council speaking about the urgency of extending the uh, mechanism. Now, Russia was able to defeat the resolution because it's a permanent member of the United Nations Security Council, the body that leads the UN. Uh, now, Bolivia voted along with Russia to defeat the resolution, um, and China and Kazakhstan both abstained. So Russia's position is that they are waiting for the report to come out. Uh, they want to see what is in the report and what work the OPCW is doing uh, before voting to extend the mandate for the investigation. With the update from New York City, Caleb Maupin, thank you. Well, let's try to put some meat on the bones of what Caleb was talking about there, because I'm delighted to say Peter Ford, former UK ambassador to Syria, joins us live on the programme. Always good to have your company, sir. Um, before we get to Moscow's stance on this, let's start with the US. Washington wanted the OPCW's mandate extended. Why does it want to continue before the, the report is released, which it will be this week? Well, they say they want it extended, but their behavior by provoking this Russian veto might suggest to suspicious minds that really they wanted to kill it. And they might want to do that because they know that an objective report is highly unlikely to produce the finding that they want. The Americans have already been judge, jury and executioner here. They bombed uh, Herat uh, base uh, days after the alleged attack. Um, one reading of, of what's happening here in New York is that the Americans decided to cash in their, their winnings while they're ahead, knowing that an objective report would not produce the findings that they had been hoping for. So just expanding on that, your thoughts on why Russia 
veto the actual mandate? Because would it change a lot if the resolution was adopted today? It, it would have been uh, premature and, and the against the norm, normal UN practice when, when mandates of, of UN mechanisms are being extended and I speak as a former UN official, uh, it's normal practice uh, for uh, a study to be made of the report by this body and then a decision is taken on whether they're doing good work and deserve to have the mandate renewed in advance of seeing their report it's impossible to say whether they are doing good work, whether they're being objective, whether they are looking at possible alternative hypotheses to the one favoured by uh, the great superpower, the United States, um, with, without seeing their report. It, this is impossible to say, but there are reasons to believe that the mechanism is weak uh, because mm. it has failed to visit the site of the alleged attack. It has failed to visit the uh, air base from which the uh, um, planes uh, allegedly involved took off, even though there would certainly still be traces of uh, sarin uh, to be picked up. This uh, is surely rather suspicious. Something perhaps people are forgetting in the fog of this is that the previous OPCW report didn't actually specify anybody responsible for the chemical attack, though we do know the West was quick to blame Syrian authorities. Why did they? Uh, they, they couldn't point the, the finger because the, 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 the chain of evidence was, was too weak. Uh, uh, nobody, unless they actually take custody of evidence on site, could state with any degree of certainty uh, who done it. Um, it, 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 it. So far, the work that has been done is extremely incomplete. And this suspicious failure to go to the, the sites involved uh, does raise questions that would need to be answering before renewal of any mandate. Just to pick up on a specific point you were making, Peter, is it correct procedure to use samples collected by third parties? Experts from the chemical watchdog didn't visit the scene of the attack, as you said. I suppose the thought of Moscow is if you start with a false or highly unlikely premise, the results aren't going to be too far away from that. The chain of uh, evidence was extremely weak. Uh, it, it, it passed, the alleged samples passed through the hands of an Nusra, uh, through the Turks, to, the, uh, to a Western party, either America or, or, or Britain, and then to the, to the UN inspectors. That is one weak chain of evidence. Always good to have you on the programme, getting your take. That's Peter Ford, former UK ambassador to Syria and expert on the region. Thank you very much.